Before this video starts, I've got a quick question for you. So I've been uploading like almost every other day now and it's been a lot of just straight up fishing, some vlogs, stuff like that. My question is, do you guys like this? Are you, are they getting boring? You know, are the driving time lapses in every video getting tired? I'm trying to find a balance between style and repetitiveness. So you guys let me know. If you do like it, leave a like right now before this video starts. Go hit that like button. If this video gets a lot of likes, then I know I need to keep doing just these fun fishing vlogs, teaching you guys how to fish at the end of all the fishing videos, and overall, just having a good time making videos for you guys. So again, if you like it, leave a thumbs up. If you wanna see me do something different, throw a comment down below right now, and enjoy the video. Howdy there folks, today I'm going pond fishing for big bass and I'm going to try to teach you how to do it. Step one, you got to tie on some lures. So the first thing you got to do is you got to figure out what lures you're going to take with you. So these are just a handful of my tackle boxes I laid out that potentially have the lures that I'm going to use today. But of course I can't take all those pond fishing so you got to eliminate a few. The pond I'm going to today supposedly has weeds in it. You know, you kind of assume, especially if you're in the Midwest or anywhere down south, if you're fishing a pond, it's probably got some weeds. The first box I have here is deep cranks. Don't need these. Second box, frogs. Gonna keep these. Third box, bunch of crankbaits. Don't need those. Fourth box, I have my day box. Has a bunch of random stuff. Gonna keep this one. Fifth box, jigs. There's a lot of grass. Jigs don't do too well in grass. Don't need this one. Lastly, my sixth box, square bills, definitely don't need this guy. For those of you that don't know what a day box is, I'll put a link in the description to the video where I, I kind of briefly go over how I put all these lures in there. But everybody, especially bank fishermen, all of you guys need day boxes. So right behind me here, I have all my soft plastics for the most part. Senkos and ribbon tails, swim baits and flukes, craws, toads, lizards, and tubes. Last but not least, my favorite, flipping. So once you get all your soft plastics out, you basically just want to pick apart a couple bags from the, each one, put them in one box to take to the pond of the lures that you think you're going to need. So after some careful consideration, this is what I came up with. These are generally the soft plastics that I think I'm going to roll with. I've got punching baits, flipping baits, sankos, just, you know, creature baits, some flukes. I threw in some uh, bigger swim baits, these Gambler Big Easies, in, uh, in case they are big. And then I got some toads. Other than that, that's pretty much it. It's just like a craw bait, some flipping baits. Baits that you would just generally throw in grassy ponds. Uh, there's not really a right or wrong lure. You know, you're just gonna have to go there. I've never been there. I've never, I know nothing about the lake, the pond, whatever you want to call it. I know nothing about it. So this is, this video is kind of a stretch and I'm kind of just banking on me actually looking like I know what I'm talking about. Just like I have a day box, I have a day bag. Now this is a bag that you just fill with the lures that you think you're gonna use. So I'm gonna go through my boxes and find uh, just whatever I can fill up with this bag, essentially, of the lures that I think I'm gonna use. All right, let's go fishing. Quick stop for food. Normally I go to Jimmy John's and get a sandwich, but there are none near me right now, so McDank's will have to do. How may I help you? Yeah, can I get two McDoubles? Those Thank you. Too. you too. Just got my McDank's, and uh, says I'm right at an hour away from this pond, so we are we're gonna drive for another hour. And I'll see you at the pond. I just made it to the pond here. So there's been three 10 pounders caught. How recently? Uh, one was yesterday. One was yesterday. So this year, three tens? So this year, they've caught three 10 pounders out of here, and one of them is yesterday. They've so. all been checked at weigh in stations. Yeah, so they've all been like verified by the state and everything. So we are hopefully going to catch a big fish.
out all my gear. I'm taking five poles with me. Let's see if we can catch a giant. All right, first cast, going with the uh, swim bait. Putting down the swim bait, it did not work. I'm gonna try punching a little bit. And then if that doesn't work, I'll go to the old reliable frog. Not a giant. Ooh. Got a little two pounder on the topwater frog. It's a good start to the day. No giant, but uh, making progress. Found, found a fish. All right, fish number one came on this frog here. If you want to know how I caught the fish today, make sure you stay to the end of the video and I'll do a recap. All right, let's see if I can get another one. There's one. That's a little guy. Yeah. Well, that's the first punch fish I've had in a little while. Just a little one and a half pounder, probably. Just the little guys now, but once it gets dark, the big girl should come out to play. Another tiny one. Got another baby punching. Third fish so far. So far, not impressed. No giants yet, but uh, still got plenty of daylight. Hey, you leave that thing alone. That might be a better one. Yeah, that's a better one. Yep, that's a big one. Hey, watch out, buddy. There's a good one. Yeah, it might be about five pounder. Well, there's a good fish. Real sonar scale says 514. 514. We're looking to double that. But uh, that's a good fish. going to the truck and gonna tie on a few top water lures. All right, what are you throwing? I think I'm gonna tie on two or three, probably keep the frog, buzz bait. All right, well, I got uh, top waters on here. Those three setups, top water frog, buzz frog like a toad, and a black buzz bait. All right, let's see if we can catch top water fish. How far is that other pond? Right by uh, my house. Like if I went there for, like what's the probability of me hooking like one fish with a buzz bait there? Pretty high. Let's just do it. All right, so what we're doing, we are quickly, quickly, quickly going to a new pond. It's gonna be dark, so hopefully it's light enough for you guys to see if we do end up catching a fish or two. But uh, we gotta hurry. All right, it is 9.03 p.m., super dark. I'm gonna take you guys with me with the GoPro 
and hopefully catch one within like the next 10-15 minutes. That's all about the light that I have that you guys will be able to see. I'll probably fish past dark, but you won't be able to see it. Um, Alright, let's go. 20 minutes later. It is 9.27. Ending the day, I caught five, four fish. Four fish, uh, three small ones and one five pounder. So that was good. But I'm going to drive home and do a recap over how I caught the big fish, essentially. That's the only one that really matters. I caught it punching, just uh, only a tactic I've used once or twice before. So if you want to learn how I caught that fish, and then I'm going to talk about pond fishing just a little bit and how I go about catching fish on the ponds, stuff like that, make sure you stay to the end. If you don't care about that stuff, then click out now. The next day. Oh, all right, YouTube. So it's the next day, but you guys know I love doing these recaps at the end of all of my fishing videos. That way that you guys that watch my videos and are wondering how in the heck is this kid catching fish? Sometimes I ask myself that question, but I will do my best to teach you. So I did catch one fish on a frog, but I'm not gonna really go over that setup. Um, I have a lot of other videos to talk about my frog fishing setup. If you really are curious, I'll just put it down in the description, but I won't talk about it. But the way I caught, I believe three fish, two dinks and one five pounder, which was nice. It was the uh, biggest fish I've ever caught punching. Came on this little punch rig setup here. And uh, essentially it's just your standard punch setup. There's nothing really special to it. I'm not very good at punching, but I guess I'm good enough to catch a five pound pond bass. So quickly I will go over the lure, the rod, the reel, the line, and as well as talk about a little bit why I decided to go with this out of all the lures that you saw me put in my tackle box. So the lure itself, it is a, I believe, one and a quarter ounce tungsten weight. It's pegged, it's got a bobber stop on it. It's got a four aught extra heavy flipping hook. I think it's either a Mustad, I think, it, either Mustad or Trocar, but I think it's a Mustad. It's a four aught. And then I have the Gambler. This is the Why Not. This is one of the best punching baits on the market. Uh, they use them all the time down in Florida, and I was using that in a black and blue color. For the rod, I have a Castaway flipping stick. That's exactly what it's called. It is a seven six. X heavy rod. Now this could be used for frogging, flipping, anything like that, but for me it is my punching setup. It's nice and stiff, nice and sturdy. You guys saw I pull that five pounder out of a ton of weeds with ease. The reel that I have is um, anything that's like somewhat high speed, like seven to one. I believe this one is. You just want something with uh, enough drag to really get those fish out of thick cover. And then for line, I have a Seaguar. This is flipping braid. This is 50 pound flipping braid. Now it's the braid that Denny Brower designed to actually flip. It is colored black so the bass cannot see it. So this is like your ideal setup for uh, punching and flipping heavy cover. Now the reason why I picked that is because it was super sunny, it was super hot, I was sweating really bad, and those fish just really didn't seem to be active as far as top water goes. I did chuck that frog around and caught that one fish on it. That frog John B actually gave me, but I lost it as, you, as you'll as you see. If you stick to the very, very end of this video, you'll see me break that off. John B gave me that one, it's a Norris frog, something like that. But anyways, I was not getting the strikes that I wanted. I tried the swim bait, I tried a Texas rig, I tried everything, and I figured with the sun being high, with it being hot, the bass are probably under the cover, and so I decided to just start punching, just knock them on the head and see what I could get, and I went three for three with uh, punches just in that little area. So if you're fishing ponds or lakes, anything with that type of cover, you want to have a couple lures. You definitely want to have a frog, you want to have a punching setup, and then you want to have either a weightless Senko or a lightly weighted Texas rig. And that way, if you're fishing, when, when all the mats are covered, if there's a little open pocket in any of those mats that you saw like I was fishing, then you can flip that little Texas rig in there and kind of jig it up and down. Overall, I had a great time. I'm definitely going to be going back to that little pond because apparently there's absolute freaking giants in there, and uh, I would love to get my hands on that. But if you guys are liking this pond fishing stuff, please leave a thumbs up. i got a whole bunch of ponds lined up that I'm going to fish later this week. And um, I'll take the cameras there and try to teach you guys how to fish ponds. Because I know a lot of you guys do fish ponds. Also, got a P.O. Box open. And if you guys want to send me mail, Andrew Flair, P.O. Box 8, Boys Town, Nebraska, 68010. You can check the description for that. But uh, please send me fan mail. I will make an unboxing and, you know, say your name, whatever. You send me lures, send me a note. You can send me whatever you guys feel like it. That's it for today's episode, guys. Thanks for watching.